Hi everybody, it's Jargus here. Welcome to my next Let's Play. Porky Pig's Haunted Holiday. Another SNS game. Let's all be at the title screen by now. Well, this is colorful. Yeah, this is one game I think no one really ever heard of it. And again, I doubt it got any attention to begin with. Yeah, so as you might guess from that opening, this thing is actually pretty much a dream. Or rather, a nightmare for Porky Pig. I have to say, it's actually a pretty good platformer. Though a lot of the visuals or sounds are, don't really stand out. Aside from Porky Pink himself. Let's see, there's about, I believe, six areas in the game. And depending on how this times out, I might just make one area per video. But the thing that's nice to about this game is that no save or password feature. But one thing I've read recently is that there's a debug menu in the game. And if that's the case, I might be using it in the future if I need to. But I have yet to try it myself. And if we're lucky, I can do this all at once. And so the time of recording, it's been about a week since I... It's actually been a little more than a week since I record, I mean, finished recording Donkey Kong Country. The start of an upload the last episode of it, because I wanted to have a few more videos ready before then. And that's what happens when you die, you become a puppet mode. This is a one upgrade of feature. But strange thing about game overs in this game, you don't start the game over, or the area, you restart from your last checkpoint, just with none of the score you obtain. Which, I'm not complaining at all. At least you won't have to replay the whole game, or even a whole level, just to get back to where you were at before. And this course should not be this difficult. No, I guess I just screw up more than usual. There we go. Yep. Blasting right through these spiders. Yeah, I've already recorded half of another Let's Play. But I want to record at least one part of my girlfriend before I upload any of it. Because she's a pretty big fan of that series, probably even more than I am. So, that would be a nice thing for us to do together. But most of the time we're together is not at my house. So that makes setting up the recording pretty difficult. But, won't be too much trouble. And that LP, that LP is only going to be four parts long. So, she may or may not be in one of the last two. Oh, but hopefully she will be. Yep, 
Maybe then we can get back to recording our other LP from last year. We still have to finish beyond the very first episode. And I'm lucky I had those invincibility frames right there. But that would have been better for me, and I wasted my time coming down here. Yeah. Looks like you're gonna have to die anyway. Oh well. Well, I got sent back. Well, yeah, that was the checkpoint. Yeah, but you know, I just found this in a bit of games one day, and I was at, like, Toys R Us or something a long time ago. I you said know, I could get one game from there, and that's the only one I saw that looked any bit appealing to me. I don't even remember what else was in there. But this was many, many, many years ago. Way back in the 90s. But I played this for a while. And I just undid all my progress. Yeah. Now this part reminds me of that one tower stage in Mickey Mania. And when I was a kid playing that game, that's the part I had the most trouble with doing. More so than any other part of the game. For the longest time, I never finished it because of that. I was thinking of us playing that game as well, but... I can't find it. I have no clue where it is. So, it'll have to be on hold. Or who knows how long. But this game certainly does have its haunt themed, themed up well. At least for this stage, it has some. Yeah, it is pretty creepy ish music. Not too creepy. And that's another fail I just did. Hmm, don't know why. I did pretty decent this during the practice run. Yeah, you might have noticed at the title screen there were options I didn't go into. Pretty much all it was is uh, the difficulty, the control, a sound test, and setting the controls. Now, I don't see why you want to change the controls for this. It's what you expect from a SNES platform. You used to jump, it used to throw your idol. And strangely, well, I don't think I can show that off in this part. Let's see. Yeah, can hold X to look around. Yeah, but this first snowy forest area, I think it goes with the whole haunted thing. It's consistent with it better than any of the other areas in this game. But that's just me. You can make your own decision about it. When, when the time comes, because there's plenty more levels to go through before we reach the end. What, was that? what else was I going to say? Yeah, I like that slide. Just make it so easy to get through some of these places. And then one later level is necessary to in order to survive. Yeah, I d did not see how I was going to survive that. <sighs> Sorry about pausing, just had something in my eye for a second. 
Yeah, I'm not too worried about staying alive in this game. Because I can always just restart my last checkpoint. If I want to prefer it so it'll look like I know how I played the game. But also so the videos won't last forever. Because no one wants to make or watch a video that's just a bunch of fails, you know? Okay, now I'm going to fight with me. Where was I before? Yeah, I definitely got to be careful here. I think this is, yeah, this is the only stage where you can float like this. And, nope. That reminds me of the balloon in Mario World. I've been considering doing that game, but I think I want to make a co-op playthrough of that instead of just a single player. It would be much more interesting to watch than I just felt to my dude. Yeah, but I do believe this is the last part of the stage before the boss fight. So that's a plus. No, 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 no. Okay. Should just stick with the path now. Yeah, this is the boss fight. Really, the boss is all really easy in this game. Fraction of a challenge up the stages are. I mean, this guy, you can don't even have to wait around for him, you can just keep bouncing on his head. Because he has a pretty big hitbox. But really, only time you can damage him is when he takes it off to try to attack you. And he can't hurt you at any time before then, so... He's no threat whatsoever. And already he's gone. But for some reason, he's glowing red eyes. Did that say no screaming? <laughs> That's funny. And just like that. Sure, I thought this would take. Yeah. I like the sound of this music here. Just too bad it, it's only an essential part of it. And with that, we'll end off the first part, and the second part, we'll do the dry gauge. See us next time!